they're coming, they're coming. Oh my god. We're gonna do a test here. Let's see how good the rebels are. And that is one seriously defended capital. Welcome to the Star Wars Galaxy. Here you can see planets from Coruscant down to Kamino, each siding with one of the main factions at war, the Republic and the Separatists. Two commanders lead their respective sides. Commander Rooster controls the Republic, while the evil Dave is in charge of the Separatists. Each commander has his strengths and weaknesses, with Rooster, our main protagonist, focusing on cannon-accurate fleet compositions. These include four different tiers that will be loosely followed and potentially adjusted throughout the campaign. Meanwhile, Dave, the enemy, will throw every everything he has at Rooster, including hundreds of ships at a time. Will he succeed? Let's find out. Alright, hello, and welcome back to Republic at War, but make it realistic. In this episode, I've got a lot of things that I've been trying to plan out and a few exciting new features. Before we begin, let's do the Captain Shack thing of turning on all of the things. And let's get right into this. What is this one? Is this the heroes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bringing the heroes to the top is actually a grand idea. So in the last episode, we had been pushing a lot of the Separatists in the Northeast, and they had also been kind of performing some counterattacks. And so what I've been thinking, I've been doing a little bit of uh, adjustments as of late. Here's my plan. And to show you, we're actually going to go into paint. <laughs> you can see my OBS setup. So... Imagine this is the, uh, imagine here is, oh god, this is, this is not good, but imagine this is the northeast. What I want to do is essentially create a nice little barricade wall of multiple fleets, because remember, we got to stick within the parameters of a realistic Republic fleet, and so I just want to have a very sturdy wall, and to push forward on the, I think there are like three hyperspace lanes, maybe four, and I just want to push them out of the northeast. And then eventually, once we get the Separatists, so here's here's Dave right here. Once we, once we get them to kind of retreat down to the south, then we'll kind of push forward with all the fleets collectively kind of getting him there. I think that's kind of our objective. Now, of course, that's a very simple drawing. We've got a lot, a lot of planets to go, and also I need to backtrack because I haven't actually taken out the Northeast. As you can see by the thumbnail, we are going to be attacking Umbara, which is going to take a little bit of strategy and maybe more drawing, so we'll see about that. First things first, I want to build up some fleets. Second thing second, I want to take out Onderon, uh, maybe Trandosia, and of course Umbara, and we'll see what happens after that. So we've got Onderon blockaded. I need some ground forces. Onderon is known for its rebel presence, so why not use our rebel commander? Uh, well, soon to be rebel commander. Ready, and I don't know if you do. You have troops? Um, what is what is your name again? I can't believe I forgot his name. Hold on. I've got this, folks. It's been a little while. Uh, since I've I've used him, General Coda. Of course, I remember, right? Yeah, General Coda. I think it is imperative that we bring a rebel into the fight uh, against the Separatists. That would probably be our best bet, and definitely a little cannon and realistic. Moreover, why don't we bring some stormtroopers as well? Don't you think that'd be kind of ironic? <laughs> I think that'd be kind of cruel, but I think that's actually what I'm going to do. We're going to need a little bit of a ground force. And speaking of which, speaking of ground force, I've been doing a little bit of research on the XML, and I've just been trying to figure out other things I can do. And one new strategy that I want to implement is a lot more um, scouting. I want to do a lot more scouting. I don't know who else can scout besides this unit, though. So we need ARF troopers. ARF troopers are capable of performing scouting missions in which planets that we have blockaded and maybe even planets that we don't have blockaded, we can see what's going on. So, for example, let's check out Trandosia, let's check out let's check out Onderon, and let's see what's going on. Additionally, how are we doing on Camino? Our southeast, remember, I've been keeping tabs on this a lot because I know that they're going to be pushing for this. I know that they're approaching. What did I say? <laughs> They're doing the same thing that they do with Rothana with Kamino. They're going to try to take us out. So the only way to kind of defend that is to just keep bolstering our defenses. We've got, I think, four acclimators. Yeah, that's not going to be enough, though. Uh, I'm Thankfully, we have our, our 
planetary turbo laser, our hypervelocity cannon, but we need something a little bit more substantial, so that's kind of what I'm going to be focusing on here. Uh, we've got our ground forces. It's not going to be great. First battle. It's going to be Kamino. Okay, five Lucre Hulks. Five Lucre Hulks? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing this again, huh? Oh my god, they just don't stop. I wonder if they really are getting... Uh, if the AI, if Dave, is getting fleets randomly, like in the code, or as rumors have stated, that they get fleets. If that is the case, my god, that is cheating. That is absolute, utter cheating. I'm gonna send this Venator up, actually. I'm gonna do something a little bit daring. And I want the Venator to scoot up and try to see if we can use some of his turbo lasers to our advantage. He's going to be heavily targeted by the hyena bombers that are probably going to come in at some point. Henceforth, I want all of the anti-fighter support, at least the ones coming out of the space station, to defend him. You're going to see what I'm going to do here. We got vultures. Try not to be too, too aggressive with them. I want gunships. Do the same thing we did last episode. I want all gunships. Oh, nice. Okay, Y-wings. You are you a Y wing as well? Yeah, you're you're Gold Squadron. I need my tie bombers. Okay. I want all gunships to perform the same duties as they did last episode. I want them to go and defend the North. Corvette, you're going to be a little too exposed for my liking. Spin around, buddy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bring this guy over. Get those gunships, look at that. Look at the swarm of ties and the gunships, this is excellent. We've got a little bit of a fighter mob up top, this is not good. I want you guys to pull back, actually. Start pulling back immediately, this is, that is not something I want you to do. I want you to turn tail and run, because um, if you get go too far, you're too aggressive, you won't be under cloud coverage of our troops, of our whole fleet, so that's not a good idea. Give me all bombers. You are going to guard the rear, whatever rear ship that is, and we are losing the fighter battle. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's problematic. And we've got hyenas that are breaking our line. I need the corvettes to start doing something. Good job, the gunships. Architons, I'm going to have you have you scoot this way. So I did say that I want all the anti-fighter over here, but it seems like, we'll, or over here, seems like we'll need some anti-fighter support given, you know, the fact that we just lost our entire fighter mob. Our entire fighter force has been lost. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Whose torpedoes have been destroyed? Yours? Eh, not great. Not great. This is not excellent. We'll take this guy out. Nice. Get that hanger. I want Y-Wings here. There we go. Alright. Okay, this guy's coming in. Bombers are going to have to move in. It seems like the Lucre Hawks are going to try to take out our, our one Venator here. Not good. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How are we doing? Okay. The 2D view is fantastic because in 3D you can't really tell exactly how far each ship is. So if you get the 2D view, it should be very helpful. You see, this is the greatest part about Republic at War, but make it realistic. You know, you got a lot of things to think about. There's a whole lot of variety, and that's why I really enjoy these types of mods. I know you guys want me to try some others, and I assure you that I will put forth my greatest effort to get to them shortly. But I'm very much enjoying this campaign, so I'm just saying. Uh, okay, I'm going to send you guys over here, and you guys over here. Okay. So we've got our Venator turned about, buddy. I need you. Oh boy. Yeah, I need you to be brought around. Okay, so we've split up their fleet. We've split up their forces, which is not half bad. We're taking out the Lucre Hulk pretty quickly, actually. Which is great. While well, you guys on super duper speed. How's this guy's shields doing? Oh, take the shields out. My bad. Oh, look at that bombing run. Beautiful. Nice job. Take out his engines next. We gotta make sure this guy can't go anywhere. You can start opening fire. 
And, okay, so we lost a subsystem or two, but that's fine, that's fine. We can deal with that, that's negligible. Not a problem, not at all. I want you to turn about, finally, please. Bring your guns into range, thank you. And it seems like we're gonna get flanked on this side. Bring the bombers here, I'm gonna send in some assisted turbo laser fire, yeah! Alright. Bring in the Arc 170s, don't dogfight, oh my god. Here's the issue. You know, I love this mod, Republic of War is fantastic, but the AI, particularly, because this is like the base AI, or just a little bit of boosted, a little bit boosted, is not perfect. And so we have things where they're being a little bit foolish, but ah, no worries. So I gotta tell you, I was talking about Texas uh, in the last episode, and, you know, for some reason, every time I talk about something, things kind of go around, so what goes around comes around. Yeah, I, uh... I was very recently converted to the the Yeehaw. What do I mean by that? There was a Nashville concert in my area. Like a Na I don't live in Tennessee, but it is a, a Nashville-esque concert with which you were able to do line dances. There were a lot of songs that I surprisingly knew, and it was actually a fantastic time. Let me tell you. I've never had too much against country music, it's just something that I personally don't really listen to. In fact, I don't really listen to much music outside of like pop and rock. Uh, I'm just pretty basic with music, if you guys got music suggestions, I'll take them. But I like what I like and I just kind of stick in my lane, but my freshman year of college I had a buddy, a great friend of mine, his name, his name is Brad, I think. I probably shouldn't say first names, I shouldn't say names, but it's okay, his name was Ethan, we'll call him E. Very nice guy. He was awesome. And um, he introduced me to a little bit of country. And there were a couple songs that I actually was pretty fond of. Not necessarily because they were good or anything. I'm going to be honest. Some of them were garbage. But some of them were pretty uh, pretty funny. <laughs> pretty funny. And then some were actually really rad. There's this one literally called like Country or something. Good song. And would you look at that? That prepared me for this little... Nashville thing. Now I have been to a few locations where there are line dances and you can kind of do uh, more country songs and that type of stuff, but I haven't really done that too often to where it's kind of like recognizable, I'll say. Like most of the locations I go to, like maybe like, I don't know, some sort of party or club or something, it's not too much country. Like they actually are pretty reserved with the country stuff for some reason. Honestly, you ain't gotta be because some of, I'm just gonna be honest some of the country songs I listen to and some of the line dances that uh, the ladies were performing because they were like I don't know, Maybe 300 people in in the audience. There were a lot of people doing line dances and I was like, oh my gosh I want to join. I'm, I, I love dancing. I like I mean, I, I enjoy it I'm gonna be honest, you know if, if I see people kind of moving around I kind of want to throw myself in just kind of learn a little bit do something It's I guess it's kind of interesting weird, um, but no, it's just, I think it's fun. I think it's fun, and I want to try it out, and I didn't, actually. I did not. Um, my party and I uh, couldn't stay there for too long, and so we kind of listened to the music, we got some of the food, we kind of enjoyed ourselves, but we promised to go back next week. So it was absolutely entertaining, and I would implore all of you to kind of try it out. I know country music is kind of an acquired taste, but we do have a few Texans in the Discord, so... To appease them, I will say that I finally understand a little bit of the value of country music. My god, was it actually extremely entertaining. I might even get one of those cowboy hats that our moderator suggested I grab. Oh, they're retreating. I really should be focused. <laughs> our moderator on the, uh, the Discord suggested that I buy a cowboy hat. And I was thinking, like, I don't know if I can wear that with a suit, frankly. I don't think I can wear a cowboy hat with a suit, but heck. You know what? After seeing and having so much fun, I'm gonna try it out. And would you look at that? We defended Camino exquisitely. First success, full defense. I don't know why I said it like that, but first good battle. Okay, it's time to start moving troops here. You could use a commander. Yo, Constantine, what are you doing? What are you doing with all the Jedi? Uh, you need a fleet, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do need a fleet. Who's building? Who else is, uh... K 
capable of building fleets. We'll take some acclimators for Constantine. Yeah, I'll make a little bit of a varied fleet for you. You're not particularly competent, from what I remember. Um, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll give you something interesting to kind of add some variety and flair to our thing. Uh, so we've got Umbara, we've got Trendosha. Who attacked Umbara? It was Ahsoka and Anakin, I think, and also Barris Afi, if I remember correctly. So we'll have to do that. Uh, let's see our... Ooh. You know, I really wish I can... I knew where I'm going to spawn. I'm going to guess we're going to spawn here. So let me show you one of the new things my best friend had uh, worked on, work with me on. So first and foremost, this is a uh, an image editor so we can start planning out our battle strategy. So if this is where we're going to be starting our units, we've got a lot of infantry. This is mostly infantry focused and then for our tanks, we've got flak. So frankly speaking, I think this is going to be an infantry battle. Um, and so, no, what we're gonna have to do is either way, Go for the landing zones we need to take out the landing zone so wherever we spawn in we need to take out our landing the power generator is there if i move our troops around here kind of make a roundabout turn instead of going for the shield generator point is if we can avoid the flak and kind of just go for this power generator we'd be in a much better position than having to just go straight in through so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to use our infantry not really our tanks at all, and just kind of go for that power generator. So first, we're gonna get the um, the landing zones, and then we're gonna go for that power generator. That's our objective, and that's our, that's gonna be our strategy. We have some Jedi on hand as well, if I need assistance, but we're gonna kind of stick with this and see what I can do. Again, I don't know if I can win this, but I'm gonna try to see if I can cheese this. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Because if I can win this, I will impress not only you, <laughs> but I will impress myself. So this landing zone is taken. Do I even need that landing zone then? We've got stormtroopers. I've got a stormtrooper company. Alright. Uh, of course. Okay, so we can't cross the landing zone. Alright. Fine. Bring in the troops. Push up. Oh wow, that company took all of my unit cap okay okay looks like we're sticking with stormies for now forgot about that ha <laughs> i gotta bring in the stormtroopers fast or else they're gonna kind of take up a lot of our troops right so we've got them barns uh get into there little turrets and start protecting that landing zone crap they've got theirs we just lost our captain Make sure you fire on the enemy. Best you can. Good. Good, good, good. Use that turret. Okay, here's the issue. I want all of you to pull back. Everyone pull back. We're losing way too many men to this pretty pointless fight. Alright, stay by the turret. Start healing up. Want you all to dig in. And now start firing. Oh, I wish you could repair that turret. Oi! Oi, oi, oi! Alright, so we're already, already losing way too many units. And they are gunning for us, my god. What do I got? What can I use to... Coda. <laughs> I can use Coda. Coda's anti-infantry. He's a Jedi. I mean, come on. Alright, buddy. You, and then let's start bringing in, bringing in your rebels. No, we're not giving up just yet, my friend. Oh, Lord. Rally up, men. Okay. Bring in your infantry. Are you... You died! How did he just die? Okay, okay. Our battle strategy... I think <laughs> we have lost to the bum rush. Um, okay, troops, pull back, pull back. I've got a second strategy. Second strategy. <laughs> okay, so we lost the first time. Yeah, yeah, retreat definitely suggested. So here's the thing. 
We lost the first time. <laughs> we, oh, okay, the first time. I'm acting like it was distant. We lost this recent time. Because I had failed to take into consideration the fact that there are so many infantry that we need to pretty much obliterate them first. So give me the stormtroopers, give me the imperial troops, and go ship some artillery side. over. Because holy crap, that was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. But don't worry. Um, second try is a, is a charm. Second time's a charm, right? Oh wow, replenish my troops pretty quick too. God, the infantry. Matter of fact, let me start grabbing some troops like from Bestian, for instance. Let me start pulling some troops, uh, some miscellaneous ones, so we can kind of use them and throw them into the gallows. Because oh my God, uh, who are you? Oh, you're just a, a normal Republic hero. Yeah, yeah, you were with Kota. He's dead, by the way. Um, yeah, that was really depressing. Do we have? Let me get some heavy gunners real quick. I don't think I'm going to use them in this battle, but I would love to take some, as a matter of fact. Moreover, let's let's build up that Corellian fleet, too. I'm just, I'm really out here, just kind of pumping things out. Constantine, uh, yeah, you do your thing. You are building up another fleet. You, you are doing Gucci. We got a three-on-three. Three. Excelente, about to be a four. We can bolster our fleets. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So now, now we've got a few more troops. <laughs> we got a few more troops. Um, what do we have on Coruscant? I will take, I'll take the infantry, frankly. The Arc Trooper. Uh, I'll, I'll actually bring them all. We'll do a whole siege on Onderon because it does look like things are a little bit worse than I would have expected. So, that's just great. They're just great. Um, I want, I want scouts for every fleet. You seem to be good. We're gonna push you onto, what the heck is going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy moly, Trandosha. How, 65 hyenas? Are you crazy? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why do they have 65? What are they doing? They got 14 hyenas here. You need a whole fleet just to take those guys out. I am so loud right now just because I'm bewildered at the fact that... Jeez Louise. All right. Fine. 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 All right. My God, that's ridiculous. Um, I guess I'll just keep building up some random fleets you are doing the same it seems combined with this guy what do we got can you really defeat 65 I don't know but we're about to find out aren't we am I really gonna do this yeah I'm gonna do it yeah they're gonna try to attack the wheel um can we defend the wheel or right next to it yeah yeah they're probably gonna send in something funky Try to see what you can do to intercept. We've also got Tarkin. I don't want to cheese that hard, but ooh, that is tempting. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mm hmm. 65. I can't believe it. 65. Thank God that is not the fleet that attacked the wheel. Holy crap, if that was the fleet. But honestly, though, I, I could have. I'm probably going to fight him with a smaller feat, so fair enough. But either way, let's. Hey, <laughs> it's not, it's not realistic, but I will absolutely take, <laughs> I'll take that, that is, that is Gucci, I will have you guys know I am, I am feeling fresh, I know I'm feeling good when I wake up early, naturally, right, that means that I, I've, I've had my good amount of sleep, I woke up at 3.30 this morning, I know you might think like this guy's crazy, um, I woke up at 3.30 this morning, and I was refreshed. No alarm, nothing. I was I was ready to move. And so I, I just got moving. And one of you guys even, like, one of you guys noticed that I was awake. One of the homies was like, you, you good? I was like, oh, I'm great. I just couldn't sleep. I was just kind of excited today. It was, it was just, it's funny. It's funny. I'm not going to lie. It is, it is quite an interesting time. Send in 
our fighter monster, our fighter swarm. You want to see a fighter swarm? That's that's what we got right here, my friends. Ooh, ooh. Good thing I remembered. I have to I have to save more often because if I crash, I will also crash. Like I personally will crash. I not not good. Not, not good. Uh. Wow, that ISD model. That is beautiful. So much better than the one we had originally. It's got moving turrets and everything. My gosh. Excellent defense. Superb. We can use this because they pulled forces from another planet, particularly probably from like Baz Pity or from Trandosia. We can take advantage of that and start capitalizing on taking out their troops. Uh... How we doing here? We're doing alright? Okay, start pushing up the victory. Start pushing up. Bring your guns into action here. Why am I going to be this aggressive right now? One, because I can. Because <laughs> we've got this massive fighter swarm. I mean, look at look at this. Look at look at the the Z95 headhunters just popping off. One, because I can, and two, because I want to see how aggressive I can be without kind of feeling the repercussions because one of the things I am typically in Empire Wars I try to build up my fleets or I try to build up my units and then be aggressive I don't I don't like kind of throwing everyone in or make, taking too hard of risks especially early on so now that I can and now that I can kind of judge the the I don't know the fortitude of my fleet I sure as heck am I I'm gonna do it <laughs> and you can see it's it's totally working. This guy's losing one subsystem. Like, come on. Come on. That's nothing. That is nothing. I know you guys probably want me to be more aggressive in the future. I'll definitely try that with the next series or the next season, but heck yeah. We'll definitely get on that. Bring the Corvettes around. God, man. I wish I wish the Separatists would kind of give up now. This is, this is kind of ridiculous. But going back to the uh, the country thing for a second, because I got to tell you, you know, I, I listened to a few country songs. Like I said, I listened to a few of them that I was. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is a nebula, and it, it it removes all of your unit's abilities if you go inside of it. And so all of my fighters had their hunt ability turned off because they went inside of a nebula. It's stupid. It's. It's absolutely stupid, but you know what? It's oh balls! Oh my god! I should have, I should have went for Yavin. I really should have taken them out early. Crap. Um, I mean, I still can. That's that's a pretty insignificant uh, fighting force, land force. So I can I can still do that. Don't mind my chair. It's not. Don't worry, guys. I have manners. But um, I, I really need a. Use Anakin. Kind of help out at Yavin. You guys pull back. Pull back. You go get this thing. All of you guys, all the same, retreat back there. You guys get a turret online. How we doing over here? We're doing. Excellent. As usual. As usual. Usually on Yavin, we've been able to defend at the um, at the shield generator, and the turrets here are not particularly helpful, frankly. Uh, I just build them to kind of slow the enemy down, but it, it doesn't usually work. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, heck, the infantry, the 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 locals, the militia. They also do not slow the enemy down. They they pretty much are target practice. Like they don't do any damage. They're pretty useless. I know some mods have kind of changed that up, but for this one, nah, they're not. They ain't great. Okay, so we've got some infantry movement. Good thing I got these turrets online. Any other turrets I can throw up here? You guys are gonna defend the turbo laser a little bit here. Over you all will be here. We're gonna need your missiles because I think they had OOM spider droids, which I believe are tank destroyers. They're just kind of glass cannons, as I had to find the term last time in the last episode. Put a lot of damage, but can't really take a lot. So that's kind of my belief of the OOM spider droids. Uh, can you take this one down too? Good job, Turbo Laser. Okay. 
a good way to cheese the game, or actually a good way to defend against air units because they are cheesy by default, is to use your turbo lasers. You can also get anti-aircraft weaponry, but I like to be a little spicy. Clone dead. Um, oh crap, that was one of the mini gunners too. Ah, oh, poo. That was that was actually bad negligence. Stay in the shield, folks. Okay, I guess not. That's the only way. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, guess you're leaving the shield to defend. So be it. And then the maids. Oh man, pull these guys back. Okay, looks like that grenade worked. And we've got some fire from the ATAPs. That is good. That is good range. Fantastic. I'm glad these guys got some good range. That's what we need. Now where is where is that uh where's that aircraft? Where's the HMP? These HMP gunships, even in Clone Wars, were extremely OP. The only way you can truly defeat them was if you... Oh my god! That thing is tall! That's called an Octoptara. Okay, well, it's an Octop... Dead. Uh. God, man. Separatist AI. Dave does not know how to use his units effectively. My goodness, they are... They are poop. Or, I guess Dave is poop, but... The Octoptara, I think, is also another, like, tank destroyer. It's just more beefy than uh, a homing spider droid. It's like a later model or something, maybe? Not privy to exactly what's going on there, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got with that kind of limited knowledge. Introduced in the Clone Wars series movie, I believe. Oh, homie's down? Okay, run! Take your, take your stim and get out of there. Jesus, and he's dead. Okay. All right. Let's just have the enemy come to us, huh? Yeah, it's definitely coming to us. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> it's a pretty cool effect, but what the heck is that? Ah, fantastic. You haven't successfully defended, and we're going to capitalize on this defense too. Alright, get us out of here. A single Lucre Hulk. Anakin, you should be able to take that out. You got, what, three Venators? Excellent. The only issue is going to be the fighters, but since they have Anakin, it should be okay. Just in case, I'm going to I'm going to give you guys some troops anyway. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Trandosha. Let's get you here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're blockading Yavin. If they blockade Yavin, they don't have a space station. We have the home turf advantage. At least I'd like to think that's the case. So here we go, troops. I saw a large line of fighters, so here's our plan. Are they gonna push for us? Like, are they, are they moving to us? Yes, Dave is moving to us. Dave is moving to us, folks. That is a good sign. Give me some standard Venators. Give me the usual affair. And I need Anakin. Give me everything. Hyena's inbound. Hyena's inbound. Okay, 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 okay. This is where I need everybody. I want everyone to start intercepting hyenas now. All fighters, engage. Pick your targets wisely. Not really, because you don't need to. Start engaging all these fighters. Every single hyena is paid for. And these Arc 170s are getting mobbed right now. Holy crap, what are you guys doing? Uh, do your best, Corvette. Try to see if you can uh, help him out here. Oh boy. Anakin, you're gonna need to go, uh, gonna need to go help him. Come on, everybody, start start helping the, our fighters out. Especially since the Arc 170s are like our pseudo bombers here, we are gonna need them. Oh, we just lost an Arc. You gonna take out that hangar bay? Eh, close, 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 close. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Nice job. 
All of you, start moving in. Engage at will. He was a good guy, but we're gonna we're gonna engage him. I've lost. I, think, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I lost anything yet, but start broadsiding him. Broadsiding him with a full volley. Okay. Good job. Use that beam cannon. You too, my friend. You might be dying, but I trust your beam cannon enough. You as well. I don't, where are you going? Also, oh, take out his engines. Don't let him move. Best if he doesn't escape, frankly. Also, take out that bomber squad. Nice. Beautiful work. So, the, he, the hyenas are, as Intel would suggest, otherwise known as some gracious commenters, the best bombers in the game. And from what I can tell, the Separatists, especially the Separatist leader Dave, certainly love them. And I don't blame them. You know, they're, they seem to be pretty effective ships. They've destroyed me. <laughs> and they've wiped out pretty substantial fleets in the past. So, we don't have anything that's kind of the equivalent of that. I boosted our Z95, so they're kind of proper interceptors. But even then they're not the greatest like I, I want to make sure that the separatists have their own kind of highlight their own good ship so that's kind of what we're sticking with but by god am i terrified of what's about to come because we have 45 45 freaking hyena bombers that we're gonna have to deal with can i borrow your uh your frigate do you mind um how many do I have? Six? Yes, you do. We're gonna stick with six. Let's let's challenge me a little. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. How am I doing? I still need to take out Onderon, don't I? Yeah. Okay, plan is still as follows. We're gonna go for the shield generator. And I'm gonna use the uh anti-vehicle cannons yeah I'm gonna use the arty um, as a matter of fact since they've been built up because I've taken so long I'm also going to use our amazing wonderful fantastic mini gunners so you can see that I, it's the cautiousness coming out don't worry do not fret I am still extremely uh, intense <laughs> not really with these uh, with these battles I I guess I'm. I guess I'm still a funny, funny bunny at the end of the day. Okay, we've got Rothana, Rothana again. Per usual, these guys are always fighting over Rothana. So, oh, don't worry. <laughs> I've made it clear that I do not want to lose this planet. But by God, is it so vexing? How these guys just never stop. I know somebody suggested that I just kind of sell everything and get gunships, so we kind of expedite the battle. Not a bad idea, honestly. Not a bad idea. Now that I think about it, you know, if I actually want to keep Rathana until the end, like, this is just kind of a characteristic of this season. Like, Rathana is just the thing to keep for us. I might as well just unload, overload on gunships. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that balls uh <laughs> okay there we go i didn't have access to the uh to the thing <laughs> it's ridiculous Tactical battle imminent. all right so trandosha is a go what level space station do we have three oh that's doable that is that's totally doable i can do that trandosha i also want uh I want to take out with the Wookiees, actually. You know, in Star Wars lore, the Wookiees and the Trandosians definitely had an interesting kind of issue. Uh, I saw a massive wave. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I saw a massive wave of fighters, and I, I just, I got real scared when I saw that one tri fighter. Uh, okay. Once they see that this is our fleet, they're gonna move in the bombers. 
Oh my god, I can't believe I jumped at that. I was... I am prepped. I am I am tighter than a fighter, and I am ready to kind of... <laughs> I'm ready to take on the 50 or 65 hyena bombers. I don't know where they're going to come from. They might flank us, in fact. Which would be a really cool thing if they do that. No, that's not hyena bombers. And that's actually something you don't want to fight. Um... Ties, they're gonna, that's gonna chew you up, man. That is gonna chew you up. And in fact, it's chewing up the Arc 170s now. Hmm. That was a, this is a bad idea. Good job, okay. Corvette, I'm gonna have you do something for me, I'm gonna have you scout. Meanwhile, I want four Venators. I want four Venators. I need to start scouting. We've got fighters defending our massive fleet over here. We've got Corvettes. And now I just kind of want to see... I might lose this Corvette too while doing this, but I, I want to see where those bombers are. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! Jesus! How did you die? Who killed you? Ah, poop. Alright. Here's the plan, men. I don't want you to lose formation. Frankly. But I know you're going to. The best thing I can do is to kind of hold right click and kind of point it forward. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be perfect, and it sure as heck is going to make us vulnerable. Oh my god. This is not good. Do not worry. Fret not. I've got... I've got luck on my side. <laughs> Which, honestly, I wasn't very lucky last time with Auto Resolve. I told you guys that I'm an incredibly lucky person uh, sometimes, but last episode definitely was not it. Um. Okay, keep pushing them a little bit. Let's see. Okay, we've got some fighter contact. Nothing official. Yes, sir. Oh Thank my you. god. Oh crap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on a second. Let's use our Arc 170s real quick. Kind of take out the hangar. Oh, never mind. They're coming. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, my God. Okay, everyone engage. Everybody just engage. Fire at will. Jeez Louise. They are going to kill you. Okay. Oh, my God. Get over there. Everyone up. Move up. Bring in the Venators, put them into range, take out those Hyena Bombers. The Hyenas, hyenas are also good against, um, where is the other Venator? Oh, they're also good against fighters, would you look at that? It seems like they are absolutely obliterating my fighters, in addition to my frames, so, um, uh, my god, holy moly, that is a mess. Jesus, wow, that's... Who's Louise? Dave is not, he is not playing around this time, my goodness. Alright everybody. Just overload your weapons, I don't know what else to do besides that. Oh my gosh. Bring all the Venators into range, bring all of your light guns into range. Oh my gosh. We're gonna lose a Venator just to this bomber squadron. To this bomber swarm. What am I talking about? Squadron. This bomber mess. Look at this. Ah, yeah. oh, gosh. This is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. But you know what? Honestly, I don't think we're doing that bad. I know it's a jinx worthy sentence, but the fact that they've got all of this. And we're still succeeding to a certain extent, and I've got reinforcements, like, I don't have any sort of worry in the world. Matter of fact, let me just bring in some acclimators for their fighters and supportive capabilities. Why? Because we can use some. Uh, like, a gunship would be nice. Uh, a 
Couple gunships would be even greater. Oh, we're gonna lose a Venator though. Ooh, bye bye. Goodbye, brother. You were good while you lasted. Um. Yeah, look at this. Look at these gunships. They've got concussion missiles and everything. Well, now that we've cleared the skies. <laughs> Let's bring in our Venators. This guy's gonna die. I can't even pull him back. I'm mean, gonna try. I'll try. Get the hunk of junk to start moving, turning around. Try to see if you take out this guy's shields. He's the only one who's in range of our Venator. Besides, uh, well, that guy. Okay. Bring in the Corvettes. Get him up front. Acclimator's also got some pretty good range, I'm not gonna lie. Bring him up. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Alright, so our Venators are now in range. We're back to the standard three Venator fleet. Would you look at that? Like I said, I'm always concerned with being realistic, aren't I? So, here we are. We got some anti-fighter capabilities. Oh, oh. Oh, I guess... I guess not. Not for this Venator. Stop moving, buddy. You're getting swarmed out there. Oh, this one's just... He's just taking a holiday or something. I don't know what the heck that's all about. We've got some anti-fighter corvettes that should be doing some justice here. Come on. Do your thing. Do your thing. Help me out here. Okay. Boost your weapon power, overload your batteries, and let's get grooving. Let's get moving, let's get grooving. We've got a hangar bay that's still operational too, I want that down. Let's take it down, boys. Hangar bay here, and there should be a second one on the left is not operational anymore. Would you look at that? My AI is actually helping me out, being a little bit autonomous. All right, start engaging the space station. We need this thing down. I want to pull back the Corvettes. I don't want them to die, especially since the space station can kind of target them. Wow, would you look at that? We actually uh, survived that. I mean, was there ever any doubt? The real question is, can we take out Onderon? <laughs> can we take out Onderon and eventually Umbara? I think that's going to be our, our objective here. I want to take out Umbara. So speaking of Umbara, let's start preparing for that now. I want to bring in Obi-Wan. I'm going to have you, because Umbara was a two-pronged assault, right? So we're going to need some 212 troops. I'm going to want Anakin. I need some 501st. Yep, I'm canceling that, even though I know it's 50% of the way done. I need some 501st. I need some 212th. I need some ATRTs. Actually, we've got a few ATRTs. I'm not going to lie but we can use some more. Because if I remember correctly, the only vehicle that was used in Umbara was the ATRT. So you know that because I am a Clone Wars purist, I sure as heck am going to try to win on Onderon. Uh, let's start with the Rebels this time. Let's start using our Rebels. And we're going to do the same strategy. Like I said, we need to protect the landing zone first, though. So I'm going to bring in artillery and then pull up our troops. Immediately run up, start claiming things, and we're going to get bum rushed, presumably. Ahsoka was also on the ground, so this is perfect that we have her here. She was there to kind of help out with the defense of Onderon, so... My god, I just it's like I planned it out, you know? Bring in turrets, start claiming these bunkers now, before they do. And the Artie is doing justice already. Ahsoka, you're going to go up front. You're going to help him out. Go boost him. Mmm. I want... I want some major laser anti-infantry. Artillery, I want you to move up a little bit. Uh, since, you know, the enemy isn't in range yet. Uh, now the enemy is in range. Alright, start firing. Start peppering them. Meanwhile... Uh, you guys are going to assist Ahsoka. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Do you guys have a ping? Yes, you do have a ping. I might be able to use your ping. This is going to be a little bit of a covert operation. I'm going to, I'm going to try to work with them, with the ARF troopers. Yeah, I know. Okay. Awaiting orders. Copy. Keep going. I want you guys to start filling up the bunkers. You're you're not gonna be able to do much, frankly. Uh, so I just want you to kind of just just help out with the bunkies. Help out with the bunkers. I don't know if that was a slur, so I'm not gonna use that word again. But uh, help out with the bunkers, and uh, we're just gonna kind of keep things there. Okay. Did you miss artillery? Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, artillery's doing well. All right, Ahsoka. Free will. You can't negotiate with droids. It's always will, man. It is always will. Good. Fire at will. Free will. Who is will? I'm the new Padawan. Okay, so apparently Ahsoka is way more powerful than Coda because she won't die instantly like him. He, I, yeah, really, I, I don't know what the heck that was about, but Coda literally jumped into the fray and died, just instantly. Oh, the plan is as follows, use you as bait. <laughs> I mean, what else can I say? So here's the plan, we're going to whittle them down. I keep, uh, yeah, I actually do have a plan. We are going to whittle them down. They've got militiamen as well. Wait, the militia should be on our side. Hold on a second, this ain't on to run. Uh huh. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is a great defense, or, well, a great attack strategy, because they're going to be the ones bum rushing us, and they're going to be the ones expending all of their Umbarans, who should be on Umbara, by the way. I mean, more power to you, Dave. They're good units. They're technologically superior to the Republic in a variety of ways. But, even with that said, it'd be a, it'd be a waste of talent, to, of all that talent, for them to die to my artillery, which they are doing. Good job, Ahsoka. My gosh, you have you're doing very well. Look at that. She's killing innocents. <laughs> Killing people who are supposed to be a part of the rebellion. That's kind of funny. That's the one gripe I have with this mod. The militiamen should be rebels, and they should definitely get some increased health. I might actually do that myself. We'll see. We'll think about it. I don't want to. I don't want to change the mod too much. I think Nohembre uh, did an excellent job making this mod. I think he actually. I'm not gonna say it's because of my series, but I'm just gonna say I think he came out of his uh, hiatus. His hibernation. He came out of hibernation uh, as of recent, and so I think he's going to be working on. I don't know if he's going to be working on a different mod or whatever. But hey, you know, it's it's this is a pretty solid mod, all things considered. Heck, that's why I'm playing it for like 20 episodes now. Look at that beautiful bombing run. You and Barnes are about to see that more on your planet, my friends. We are not. Don't think you are coming out of here scot free. This is what you get for. Uh, for fighting on Umbaro, or Onderon. We know exactly your allegiance. Indeed. Alright, Ahsoka, the one-man army. Yeah, not for you. Alright. Come on, now. I wonder... Okay, so you guys are still in range. That's good. That's a good thing. Soka, you might be you might be fighting a battle that I don't want you to do alone. I mean, it's great that you are, but nah, get back here. Get back here and let's start using our other units. Who is this? A farm? Oh, hey, hey, ho, 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 ho! Hold on a second. I want to take that out though. Oh my god. Pull in there, start yeah, get in the center. Try to see if you can get some of the artillery fire on that. Significant health increase. That's ridiculous. How dare you? How dare you use something strategic on me? Okay, pull back. Pull back, pull back. Oh my god, you're getting chased. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. Now we've got our heavy range units in... Okay, they're doing some damage, I guess. It's not great, not great. I wish I can get a kill counter of these guys, because Ahsoka's definitely got quite a bit on top of the artillery. Nice job. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Give me a ping. We're gonna have some clones that are going to stay here at bay and kind of help out. We're gonna pull everybody else. Watch the rear. Never give up. Let's go. You guys are gonna go in the bunkers. You take the left, you take the right. Meanwhile, I want all the rebel infantry to follow Ahsoka. We're gonna do a test here. Let's see how good the rebels are. Because if I, you know, whatever mod I play next, I sure as heck am am loyal to whichever units are better, stormtroopers or rebels. You know, I I, 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 I got a few loyalties. You know, I love the sound of their A280s. They are they're so rad, and that was brutal. You're pretty much killing your homies. You've got some enemies closing in on you. So here's the thing with our troops. They're not going to have a ton of coverage shortly because I'm going to keep the artillery there. Also. Ah, oh, no ping. No ping, no ping. Awaiting orders. Attacking target. Alright, take out the human dwelling. Are Umbarans human? Like, what are they? I guess they're Umbaran, but... Like, what? What are they? They're humanoid, huh? Humanoid. Okay. I want you guys to start pushing a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no, senor. Oh, no. We got droidicas. That's the problem. Okay. Start pushing up. Is that a commando droid? What? The B2 battle droid? What are you doing? Oh God. Nice, nice. Take that one down. Wee. Wee, get over there. Good. Give me eyes. Perfect, I got eyes. Take that guy down, nice job. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is beautiful! So much better than the last battle! As a matter of fact, let's give them a good hello real quick. Hello! <laughs> Alright. I want you guys to... Their power generator should be there-ish. So kind of make your, make your moves there, and also we're going to bring in some quick assault vehicles. I'm going to see if I can kind of blitzkrieg or bum rush toward that. So Ahsoka and her rebels are going to move on in. And you guys are going to do the same. Watch out for that flak. That's going to be a little risque. Do I have speeders? I got speeders on me by any chance? No. I do not have speeders, but I do have Yoda. <laughs> now what does Yoda have? What does Yoda have? Let me tell you. Meditate on this. Yoda's got eyes, and he's got eyes on a lot of a mess. Oh my god, there's still so many units. Give me a bombardment on here. See if you can do some damage, because this is ridiculous. Ooh. Good, 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 good. Can I get a, can I get another volley? Nope, okay. Uh, kill that thing. All infantry focus on that. Boys, you gotta get moving. You gotta get going. Keep going. Come on, she's she's got it on lock. Just kind of move in here. The more you focus on the other enemies, the more you're gonna die. The quicker you're gonna die. Gotcha. Form up. 
Ah, oh, and I'm losing these guys. All right, fine, fine. Yep, we lost our rebels. Jesus, that was quick. As soon as we get up here, we lose our rebels. And again, Ahsoka is the only one who's still, who's still kicking. All right, you guys go down. You failed me. You failed me. Yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm. So disappointed. Absolutely shocked. Bewildered. I'm gonna get you some more... Give me some more artillery, honestly. That didn't fail me. Meanwhile, you take that down. And this might be actually a longer episode, because I do want to take out Umbara, so you guys are going to get a little bonus content this time. Best you can do, my friend. Get us some Mandalorians, I think? No. <laughs> uh... No, okay, I guess we're just gonna get upgrades. Not, not perfect, but you know, I'll take it. The dark side no longer does. Oh, there you go. All right, artillery's got some range. Well, since we, uh, since we took out all of the shebang, I want to move all the units up. Everyone move up to this position here. We're going to start taking out the enemy. We took out their, um, their power generation. So next we're going to take them out. And the best way to do that is with stormtroopers. Give me, give me a company. Oh god, I might crash the game if I do too much. So nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I know I'm laughing the same, man. I'm laughing. I'm doing the same thing. I'm giggly googling as well. All right, buddy. Give me some range. Okay, or not. Okay, give me sight. Give me a bombing run on target. And then bring in all of our infantry. Roger that. This is beautiful. Oh, gonna be a Artillery in range. Is there any thing that I can use to see the whole map? No. I guess Yoda's gonna be our guy. We're fighting for freedom. Same with Ahsoka. You do it, man. Oh man, that's the exact line I used for the uh, the Venator lore video. Republic didn't start the fight, but they finished up. God, that was mm, that was so good. That was so good, guys. I I was so proud of myself <laughs> when I wrote that. I was I was feeling feeling real good after that little little tiny video essay or a little lore essay. All right, my friend. Start pushing up with the rest of the troops. Man, I didn't know the stormtroopers were so slow. This is why they're uh, kind of balanced. That's how they. That's how Luigi Bro balanced it. Luigi Bro is uh, the guy who is a very good friend who has been helping out uh, with modding or fixing up this game a little bit, the mod. So nothing too crazy. We've been doing some creative liberties. We're not here to disrespect no Hembre or anything. But we are here to uh, make things more interesting. So as we go by, we're just adding a little bit more here and there, and it's, it's making things fun, making things quite entertaining, I must say. Now, can you guys shoot the shield generator, or am I kind of out of luck here? Yeah, I'm out of luck here. Whoa, 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 what's going? How are you dying? Oh, you're dying because of that. Yeah, you're dying because of that. And you do not have the health to take that down. Alright, boys. Yoda, Yoda, please. Yoda, give me some eyes, please. Oh, oh, oh. Take out the shield. Yoda, we're going to need you here. Ooh, 
Ooh, that minigun. That is, it's great, but you're gonna die, man. Oh, oh, ha <laughs> ha, they're retreating. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. 12 Umbar and Militia on Onderon. What the heck? Like, why? What was that? <laughs> no, it does not. Time to prep up. We gotta go... Oh, I was gonna save our friends. No, we're gonna go kill uh, Umbara. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. I've got two enemy fleets coming in. One for Roche Asteroids and the other at somewhere. I wasn't paying attention. Locke. Locke is a planet that I think we're just gonna have to lose. Um, but Roche Asteroids, I don't want to get blockaded. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I'm not going to fight that. I am. My objective is to take out Umbara. And that's exactly what we're going for. That is not what we're going for just yet. We are going for Rathana. Okie dokie. That's alright. Let's take out Rathana. We should do a longer episode, but... I definitely want to... Uh, I want to get Umbara. And I've got a whole battle strategy and everything, so stay tuned. I've got a whole thing. So let them retreat real quick. Go make your guys' run. Please, run away. Please. Now get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Umbara, Umbara, Umbara. Where did I build the ATRTs? Where did I build those ATRTs? Those at roots. Where did I make them? I made them on Mandalore. That was wise. So what? Seven? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do seven. Jesus Christ. How many times? How many battles am I fighting? The Separatists are sending just nonsensical fleets. <laughs> Three supply ships and a carrier. And the only reason is... Uh, okay, fair enough. The reason why it sent those those ships in the first place is just because they thought it'd be an easy, easy battle, but... Yeah, I, I got intel pretty early, so good luck. So get some popcorn ready, because Umbara, I think, is going to be one of the longer fights. And I know it's already... It's already had, we've already had a really good episode, but this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, so I'm definitely... I'm definitely going for it here. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So the the ISDs have like the normal model, but the our buddy Tarkin and all the other ones, they have the nice model. That's what I'm talking about. We got that. We got our our priorities. We got we got a little bit of a little bit of something. A little bit of preferential treatment. There we go. All right. They're boosting a lot of your laser fire. I want this to be a quick battle. I want these guys to get out of here. Get out of my town. Get out of my swamp. Okay. All right. Let's save up. We're losing luck. But that's okay. We'll get it back. Right now... Main objective is umbo- You gotta be kidding me. My god, these guys, they just don't stop. They, they, they do not. <laughs> as soon as Dave knows, as soon as the Separatists know that I'm about to make some great plays, immediately they start sending some ridiculous units. Oh, okay, I captured it. Okay, I was gonna say that's- I don't know if I can capture it or not. Because my infantry's not there. Oh god, oh god, they are moving in quick. What is going on? And now it's the wheel? Okay. Tarkin, go there. My god, what do we have here at the wheel? Six supply ships. That I can do. That. <clears throat> Gotta crack my knuckles for that because I'm just. I'm that intense for it. Bring in all units. All units and start pushing up immediately. I want an ISD dead center. 
Is this foolish? Heck yes. I mean, let's just take a second. And look at the fact that, you know, I, I've still been following my realistic fleets a little bit. But for the most part, <laughs> we've definitely deviated from our original plan. And so by God, <laughs> is this just something else? You know, I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking right now. Because I'm being so excited about Umbara, I, I don't know if this is the right move, but should I auto-resolve the battle? Like, should I just try to see if I can win via auto-resolve? I said I'm lucky. But can I be that lucky? Now, I'm not talking about auto-resolving the land battle, by the way. I'm talking about the space battle. I'm not auto-resolving the land battle. Absolutely not. Th those are my favorite four episodes of Clone Wars. Heck no. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not going to auto-resolve the land battle. But I'm thinking for space. Let's see. What do we have? Like, it's a level three. It's a level three space station. And, you know... We fought that so many times. Let's just see what happens if I auto-resolve with six Venators. Look, that is lucky. What? What the heck was that? What was that? Okay, we'll save. See? But look, I completely won. Superb, excellent battle. Now, remember my original plan with Umbara? We're finally going to do it, so let's go back to here. Remember, our troops land on the ground here. And I'm going to have Anakin and the 501st kind of punch a hole through the enemy, and wherever the landing zone is, that's where we're hitting first. Next, we're going to drop Obi-Wan and his troops. With Obi-Wan and just a few troops, because it was mostly the 501st on Umbara from our perspective, we only saw the 501st for the most part until the last episode. Spoilers. We're going to use Obi-Wan's troops plus the combined 501st and take out our buddy Dave. If we can take out Dave using that strategy, I'd be pretty satisfied. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is the Battle of Umbara. Your Starting off with shinies, yes, fine. That was not what I actually oh, wanted to start with, but that's fine. Get oh, us some, some shinies. All right, let's see the map. We've got... Oh, you're already capturing one of the landing zones. We've got landing zone here, landing zone there, landing zone there. Okay, get our landing zone first. We don't even have ours first. Now remember, you, we're only fighting with infantry. Only infantry and the ATRTs. Because Umbara was only fought with them, so I want Torn Company right away, on the ground, right away, 501st, Rex and Anakin. I want right away, all these guys. Right away, I need a medic. Right away, I need some mini gunners right and some ATRTs. I almost forgot them. My God. Oh, gonna be a fire fight. Okay. Welcome Bring in the troops. The party, and what is this? This is the air base. Oh, that's gonna be tough to take on. This is just a random area okay let's take random area first let us go for the random area because if we immediately go for the airbase we're probably gonna get destroyed rex anakin i want you to move on in the troops will be able to kind of work on they'll be able to whittle down the umbarns themselves i want you two to go in start moving Here's where the fun begins. Weapons check. Okay. All right, everyone. Remember, this is the Vietnam of Star Wars. We gotta watch it. It's scary, it's dangerous, and it's deadly. Where are those shinies? I don't want them going... I don't want them going somewhere they shouldn't be. They gotta stay and defend the landing zone. It's too dangerous for them to go any farther. No Alright, and it can go immediately for this landing zone, and then we're gonna bring in some of Obi-Wan's troops. We got some contact. We got Umbar in contact, thank god we've killed so many of them already. <laughs> hey yo, what the heck? Are you guys a T-pose my god? Alright, fine. 
Oh, they're in the trees too. Oh, the trees are speaking on barn. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord, that's a lot of Umbarans, alright. Bring in Obi-Wan's troops. Good. Get us some rockets and more ATRTs. Alright, now that we've got them, I want troops to start pulling this way. Everyone start moving in, we're gonna go for the airbase next. This is the capital, that's the capital. And that is one seriously defended capital. My gosh, okay. Obi-Wan, I kind of want... Wow, look at this map. I'm, I'm being very tactical here. I'm not, I'm not embracing this beautiful map they've got going on here. I presume this guy is going to eat my troops. Um, <laughs> this is one of those Sarlacc pits that were found on Umbara. And pretty scary stuff, actually. They were uh, they were pretty scary. They they uh, they killed one 501st clone officially in Darkness of Umbaro, the first episode of the arc, and then they almost killed fives in Hard Case. So they're pretty terrifying. Also, almost killed Krell. Oh, see, and now just killed an Umbaran. Your own, your own species. <laughs> My gosh, see, this planet is it is unforgiving. Secured a build oh god. Yeah, you guys... Oh, your rocket troops are gonna need you. Nah, just you. Just you. You go defend there. Oh god, Obi-Wan's going straight for the capital. Alright. Alright. You do your thing. You go for the capital. My, meanwhile, my troops are all kind of split up here. Yeah, start. Start firing on them. Yeah, a lot of these guys are just chasing. A lot of the clones are performing a lot of chasing duties. I want you all to move over here. Push that position hard. Bring in the ATRTs. I guess Obi Wan's going to be pushing for the capital. Capital then, huh? Oh, my rocket troops. Where'd the rocket guys go? Okay. Bring in rockets. More ATRTs. Another 501st platoon. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, my friend. Actually, uh, I don't want Cody to kind of get killed here, because he, he sure as heck will die. He doesn't have that force heal. And Obi-Wan's definitely... Obi-Wan, you're getting jumped. Obi-Wan, my friend, you're getting jumped. Oh my gosh. Look at this mess. Just tons of small firefights on this... on this map. There's so many hills, there's a lot of cover. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Got bombers moving in. Bombers just took out something. Oh, no, bombers are about to take out something. Nice. It's an apalm right there, boys. <laughs> Alright. Time for you guys to stop floundering. We need to take out the airbase. Um, but I, you know, I appreciate focusing fire on the Umbarans that are coming your way, you know, it's, it's, it's helpful either way, but we need to take out the airbase so we can get some more troops. No kidding. Although, these ain't droids. Oh, obi Anakin, not Obi-Wan. Anakin died. <laughs> oh my god, it's just like on Umbara. They lost Anakin. He didn't die, of course, but they they lost him and Krell came in. I can't believe it. We just lost we just lost Anakin. I've never seen that happen before. I don't think I've ever lost Anakin. Ever. <laughs> 
Wow. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Who else? Who else could we bring in? I think Mace Windu would be like a good. I don't know, he was pretty. He was pretty crass sometimes. I think he'd be a good kind of Krell replacement. He's not Krell. He's not as bad as Krell, but he sure as heck can. He can do a little bit of damage. These guys are getting butchered by this thing, I presume. But we're definitely whittling down their numbers. And if I remember correctly, in the series, Obi-Wan was going for the capital. So, hey, you know what? That's pretty good. I'm losing Torn Company, aren't I? Yeah, that's Torn Company. Okay, the rest of the company is finally coming. The rest of the column has finally appeared. I want to bring in gunships, but not yet. Not yet. We don't want to bring in the heavy guns until it gets a little bit more dire. Like, now-ish, actually. Once I lose these troops, because I, you know, I need infantry. Once I lose more clones, then I'll bring in the gunships. But at the moment, we'll stick with what we got. We'll stick with the full infantry. I told you the plan. Plan's kind of gone awry, I'm not gonna lie. Um... I'm not going to blame it on the troops, I'm going to blame it on myself. I think it was it's my fault. I'll take full blame for that, troops, because I should have given you more direct commands. Look at me being a great commander. Oh, it's just amazing, man. Um, <laughs> Alright, take that guy down. Okay, I'll take this one down too. Oh, excellent. Never mind. Take that one down. Jeez Louise. Okay, situation's dire enough. Bring in the gunships. We're gonna need some reinforcements on the airbase. I wonder if Mace ever fought on Umbara. Oh, you're getting flanked. Yeah, you are very much getting flanked. Poor Cody is out here. <laughs> save Cody. The rest of you guys go over here. Go save Mace. Oh my gosh, they are just relentless. And Obi-Wan's assault is failing. Get out of there. You're going to need to heal up too. Just keep running, keep running. Oh my goodness gracious. Full retreat for Obi-Wan. This is this is an insane assault. Okay. <laughs> you also got wrecked, buddy. Um yeah, yeah, the the artillery won't do anything either. Um Jeez Louise. Okay, okay. We'll bring in Master Fisto and Master Sakura. Jeez. <laughs> and more infantry. My god, the gunship is still... Still doing its thing. Oh wait, the shield is down though. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, we don't have eyes, but... Ah, poop. Hold on. If you can get me eyes on the capital. Oh lord. Oh, we got eyes on something. What is all of this? Oh, this is just mess. That's what this is. This is just a mess. Alright, you stay there. Go protect the, uh, the thing. And then we just got... <laughs> We've got every Jedi. Every single Jedi is out in this fight. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna bring in more units too. Not even because I can, because I need to. Like, I, I need more units. <laughs> I can't believe it. They actually, we actually got, like, pretty darn destroyed from the Umbarans. Like, they were, they are no joke, man. Oh my gosh. Uh, is this another? It's another bunker. Oh my gosh. 
Um, you stay there. Alright, and then you guys push up. Jeez, you finally took the airbase. Oh my god. I've lost so many troops in this battle. This was... That was crazy. The amount of chaos involved and... Oh my gosh, pull out of there. Get out, that's too much fire. These bunkers. Wow. That's incredible how good they are. Stay there, my goodness. Oh, look at the three Jedi going in. To go kill the Umbarns. This is for our troops. This is for our troops. Glad you're here, Kiati. My one-eared friend. Go. go. Do what you can. Oh my god, and there's more. There's more. We're sending in all of our units, but it, it's still... It's still an extensive amount of Umbarns. Like, my god, I'm, I'm very impressed at this defense. It was a whole lot of infantry. A whole lot of infantry. But by god. This is gonna be a good victory, I'm telling you. Absolutely justified for one of- for the longest episode of Republic at War, but make it realistic, boys. This is good stuff. We've got an anti- oh my god. They are so prepared. An anti-aircraft turret. Okay, okay. Make a run. Retreat. Oh my god. This is the first time the AI has actually been competent. This is, this is actually impressive. Like, very impressive, my goodness. And go for this anti-aircraft. Anti so I can bring in the gunships. So ridiculous. Everyone push for the... Push for the capital. Push for the capital. Yes, gunships, take them out. The remaining 501st troops, they... My god, they're gonna get some... Major laser PTSD like that clone in Obi-Wan. What's his name? Nax? His name was Nax? The one, the homeless clone? God, that was so sad. That's probably one of those guys. Oh, Nax, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. Because we just want him borrow. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? A mess. 16 Umbaran militia squads, 9 destroyer droid squads, 3 B2 battle droids, and then a whole host of other problems caused us to lose Anakin, the Torrent Company, 501st. But oh my gosh. We just hit a major milestone in this campaign. We have taken out Umbara. We have established ourselves a great fighting line with successful and massive fleets. And so we can finally push Dave and the Separatists back. I still need to take out Dathomir's land, but I've got it blockaded, so we're fine. We've got Yavin, finally. I've got to take out Renvar. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of, I have to do this, I have to do that. But it is all in the name of For the Republic. So that was Republic at War, but make it realistic. I hope you guys enjoyed the longer episode. It was surely fun for me because we took out Umbara. So without further ado, my name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Sexy Rooster. Just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.